Yo, what's going on guys? It is Xerxes coming today with a new video, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make coins at the start of Madden 17. So starting off, first of all, it comes out August 23rd, so if you were lucky enough to get it early, that would be August 16th. Now, this does not account for if you get it August 16th, because I'm not really too sure how the market works then, but... August 18th is when people are able to actually play the game with EA Access, which I definitely suggest that you guys get, because you get 10 free hours of Madden 17, you can even buy a couple different, you know, one month trials, put them on some accounts, and you can have up to about 50 hours playing Madden 17 before the game comes out, which is pretty damn cool. So, at the beginning of Madden 17, usually what you want to do is to open up some packs. So, if you are going to open up some packs, hold on to all of the players, and it may be even worth maybe investing into some 73 to 74 overalls. Because if you guys didn't know, Josh Morgan, the 74 overall receiver for the Saints, I believe he was about 40 to 50k when the game first out came out, and then after about a week, he was at about 140k. But the only thing is, you don't know which ones are going to be rare, so put that to the side for now. So, if you guys are lucky enough, and you do happen to pull some elites, hold on to those elites. As of the 25th, which is the day of release, and also the same, you know, it's the same price as the Axis, Tom Brady 9 overall was 100k, which is the same as the Axis in, you know, 25th, and also the 20th. So hold on to him, after 5 days... Brady jumped up from 100k to 135k. Now usually what EA does is they wait a week until after the game is put out and they put out packs. Like all pro packs, veteran packs. Some type of promo pack to get you to spend more money than pro packs. Then after all pro packs were dropped, he dropped down to 110k. So if you guys are going to hold on to your players, make sure to hold on to them until about five to six days because you know the first day people are already selling or people are already selling their players they're gonna be the cheapest they are unless you happen to get somebody like Mariota or Gurley someone that's really hyped up the price is gonna be pretty high like I pulled uh, 76 overall Mariota the first day and I sold him for about 16k after week he was like 5k so Khalil Mack on the 20th was 40k on the release day, the 25th, he was 50k. Then after about 6 days, he was 77k. And then he went down to 50k after a week. So, if I were to hold on to him, which I didn't, I actually sold him after about 3 days. After playing with him, because I also pulled AJ Green. If you, if I were to hold on to him, he would have went up to 77k. But then Khalil Mack actually was one of the rare elites that went to the captain sets. I think he jumped to about... 90k I believe he jumped to about 90k after a couple more weeks but also if you guys do have to get EA access I really suggest that you either start on journey or you do the styles I actually did these styles last year and I completed the styles within my 10 hour trial and then I sold Romo and Glover Quinn and I think I made about 100k selling both of, no I think I made a little bit more than that but I made a decent amount of coins selling them both because those guys will be very cheap once the game actually comes out. People complete styles a lot. Those will be super cheap. All of the packs that you get from the journey, definitely save those until Team of the Week or Football Outsiders are out in the game. That is the time when you can make the most coins, unless you want to save those until promos. But really, you're just trying to make a lot of coins super fast. Uh, gold players especially. Hold on to gold players like 80 overall and above. Hold on to those until about five to six days as well, and you'll see those prices go up as well. But hold on to this pack to Team of the Week of Football Outsiders if you are lucky enough to pull a collectible for the Team of the Week or Football Outsider Player, Team of the Week Player, Limited Edition. That is a lot of coins, about like 300, 400k, depending on who the player is. Now, that does not go the same for the Elite Player packs if they are non tradable and non sellable. You can just go ahead and sell those. Or keep those players obviously just open those packs because those do not really matter but besides for that I think that's about it besides you can you know try to snipe on the auction house and the trade block looks like it's not gonna be in Madden 17 
So, I don't know how giveaways are going to work to make coins that way. But if you guys enjoyed the video and you like this tip, make sure to hit that thumbs up button, comment, and subscribe. See you guys next time.